Hello, everybody. I hope you're all doing marvellously well. It is... I'm wearing a jacket. Look how formal I look today. It's 12 p.m. on a... I was going to say a lovely... I mean, it's a nice day, but we had a full weekend of rain, which I think we, we brought back the bad weather. Um, so Eric and I were in um, Indiana for last week at Sweetwater. So we flew back on Saturday. That was a travel day and a half because um, there's no direct flights from Los Angeles to Fort Wayne, which is OK. And I think the way back just felt... The way there felt quite relaxing, didn't it? Yeah. But the way back was absolutely exhausting. <laughs> I was like, I got back at, like, I don't know... We got back in mid... Late morning, early afternoon. What time did we get back? I think it was... We landed around 12. It would land around 12, but we left at 7 a.m. So we left at 4 a.m. So it was eight hours of travel, eight hours of travel, which is not that bad. I mean, we're about to go to England, which is lot, a lot lot worse than that. But anyway, it was travel-tastic, travel-tastic. So here we are. We're big, we're bad, and we're back. So what we elected to do today, because last week we basically completed the song. So this Mixing Monday, we're actually revisiting the uh, Little Empire song, Burn, which we started and got, you know, some way through last time. But this time, I'm just taking off my jacket. It was a little chilly, so I've been wearing the jacket for the last couple of hours since I've been here. But anyway, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to revisit the song. And once again, this, the, all these Mixing Mondays are sponsored by our good friends at DistroKit, which has been rather wonderful because... They're paying the expenses for us to do this. They're paying Eric's salary. There you go. Thank you, DistroKid. Um, we like DistroKid because, from a producer engineer's perspective, what it is is a... So when you do a project with your artist, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this quite detailed because what happens is a lot of artists I work with and I'm sure you do as well are independent artists these days for every major label product that I project that I do now I do probably four to five independent projects and that's typical of pretty much anybody in our industry now and independent artists make up the vast majority of music that's being put out I'm sure many of you are independent artists yourself the thing that we like about DistroKid is that you can assign the way you get paid straight from the get-go meaning you go what is what's the deal what are we doing how much are you getting paid how much am I getting paid and then on the actual when you upload it to DistroKid, you can assign how much of a percentage everybody gets paid, which is absolutely amazing as a producer because then you don't have to go back and have those awkward conversations with the artists and say, hey, uh, I see that the song's had five million streams and you've made a few hundred dollars. Do I get any money? You know what I mean? And uh, a friend of mine told me they bought the album, but you said you haven't sold any and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it's really been a huge help to a lot of independent producers, artists, and engineers. So thank you ever so much, DistroKid, for sponsoring this so we can we can do this every Monday. Um, <laughs> Andre says, best is 100% for both parties. Um, Mono says uh, they're independent, says I'm independent, and I use DistroKid and love it. Um, Orangutan says we distro, distro kid um, as well. Best deal so far. Yeah, it's really good. And of course, as usual, they're giving us a 30% off plan down below. So if you want to join them, it's 30% off. So that's absolutely fantastic. But also, and very importantly, um, please, 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 please download these multi-tracks. So let's get stuck in. Without further ado, four minutes of waffling on, let's go and listen. So this is where we ended up. We ended up with something the last time, which is quite generic and still needs some work. But we had some fun with it. And we, we, we really went out of our way to not use any fancy plugins. It was all originally done with just stock stuff. So have a listen. I mean, the 30% will always be available to us because we're doing this every Monday. So just come back every Monday. So as usual, it's it's Warren doing his best Peter Hook impersonation. <laughs> I 
I can't remember which chorus I used. And I've got the Pan Man going on the synth. Absolutely love. I love Sound Toy stuff. We're not sponsored. We've never done a single deal with them. We just use them all the time. You know, let's be honest. They are a really good company, Sound Toys. So obviously nothing is done to the vocal yet. Didn't even we didn't even get to mixing the uh... There's a key bass going on there. I almost feel like I want to make that a little dirtier, you know what I mean? Like wait, it doesn't. It needs it needs a saw edge to it, doesn't it? So let's go and do something generic. Let's go and grab. Let's go into harmonic. Uh, Sans amp's always pretty much my favourite to go to. I'll be honest. I mean, this is the same plugin I've been using for twenty something years. Yeah, that punch. So let's throw that in with the bass and the pan. Oh, I like that. Now it sounds like a, a Moog to me, you know what I mean? Already more interesting. Thanks, Tom. Some, Tom says, please hit the smash the like button. And we'll do some giveaways. We'll do some giveaways. We'll give do uh, some Academy memberships. Okay, now we've got an electric coming in, which is kind of dull and boring sounding. We also have a DI on it, and it looks like these are only in the verses, so we can have some fun with this. You know, one of the tricks I like doing with electric guitars, especially when you have a DI, is do something weird to the DI that you don't do to the... So why don't we why don't we um, why don't we compress that a little bit more? Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun while mixing. Yes. What's this compressor? Is just called compressor. Oh yeah, that's pretty dumb. So what I want to do is make it a little bit more percussive sounding. Slowing down the attack. And speeding up the release. So I'm trying to make it a little bit more pop, 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 pop. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because I want to stick a reverb on it. And that's just the most generic plugin I could find. It's called Compressor. We're not trying to showcase any one particular person's plugins. We're just going to be like, you can do it with any plugin that you like. How about the air reverb? What's this sound like? That's whatever defaulted to. Now I'm going to take the amp version and the DI reverb.
Really cool. So now the reverb is being triggered from the DI and the amp version is being panned away from it. So they're about 50-50 and it makes a far more interesting guitar sound. That's what I love about having DIs. So we've already made it sound more interesting. We took the we took the Moog um, and fuzzed it out and distorted the high end quite dramatically. We took the Les Paul um, going through the Ignator and panned that amp sound to one side, about 50%. And on the other 50%, we took the DI, we exaggerated the attack a little bit and then put it into a reverb and on the generic settings. And we've got a pan man on that first synth. So we've already taken what's quite generic and made it sound interesting. So, it's getting interesting. Okay, so here's the riser. There's an 808. And an explosion. Which I'm going to bring up. Okay, it's getting interesting. The, the drums, when they come in, are called the Glockenspiel's pretty loud. Oh, we had some fun with that, didn't we? We distorted it. So we did something similar. We uh, we took the DI and we panned it at the other side and distorted it. And we did um, we did the reverb on the amp the other side. Okay. All right. So now let's get over to the drums. Now, at the moment, the drums, I think, are very organic. I don't think there's any samples on them. Let's have a listen. So on the kick here, for instance, we've got we do have an uh, addictive drum kick sample that I put in, and we have the live kick. I need that to be more aggressive. I need that kick to be like smack you over the head. Cause we it's a it's a scene change. You know, a bit it needs to be more of a scene change. So let's have some fun with it. Why don't we grab um what we got here? Do 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 the wheel of death. Okay, the G channel from Mac DSP.
So I'm just I'm just seeing if we can let the low go through and not trigger not trigger the. Um, Did some boost about 60. Goes about a bit more about 350, cut some of that. Okay, what we got here? Brought down the live kick because there's so much bleed in it. Yeah, definitely, um, Augustine. There's definitely a lot more we're going to do here. So we've got this addictive snare here. Then the live snare, bottom and top. And we're boosting generically some, some bottom and top on it, which is making it bite a bit more. Now we're live, John, as you can tell. <laughs> So let's just, just find a generic reverb. And so we're going to call this snare verb. So what should we grab? I don't mind. I just want something. I'll get something really generic. Dverb is the most generic reverb on the planet when it comes to, because it's the one that comes free. And I'm going to go, I'll go for three quarters of a second. And we'll trigger that from the main snare send. So we'll send it on 11 and 12 because there is a stereo image. So let's make that going on there, 11 and 12. Yeah, don't forget, yes, John, and everybody else is asking. Yeah, there is a link to the multitracks there. Please, oh, please hit the like button. We have 266 wonderful people watching. Thank you very much. Please hit that like button. It lets other people know that we are there. Um, the multitracks are there. We will also give you a, um, we're also going to ask you a question here, which anybody can answer, and you'll be able to win a year's membership of the Academy. If you're already a membership member of the Academy, you'll get an extra year. And if you're a lifetime member, you can choose any Promix Academy course that you want. All right, I'm going to throw in some guitars. Now I feel like there's a moment. So let's go. We haven't got any vocals in yet. That's deliberate. Let's listen from kind of halfway through the first verse and then into the chor into this pre-chorus and see if there's some impact. Yeah, the uh, gunshot snare doesn't come until the chorus. We're on the pre-chorus at the moment, John. Mm -hmm. 
which is what you're hearing there. So yeah, so the chorus gets like super, super aggressive. So the whole idea of this song is to have like mo multiple levels of like dynamics. Um, you're, thank you very much. Oh, and thanks for the birthday wishes. Yes, it was my birthday the other day. Yes, I'm uh, 978 years old. Anybody know the uh, Doctor Who reference there? Um, I am a Time Lord, if only. All right, so now what happens, we have this kind of like aggressive drum sound and then this other drum sound comes in, which is just nuts because it is like programmed drums. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of his elements. So we have the pre-existing... So that's that's the standard drum sound now. But we have this kick sample. Instant like dance kind of oof, oof. So pretty massive. And then uh, as uh, John was talking about the gunshot snare, which we can pan left and right. And that, for those of you that don't know, is um, actually the snare sound from Alice in Chains. It's the, from the Dirt album, and that is the snare sound. <laughs> Courtesy of our dear friend, uh, the genius himself, Mr. Dave Jordan. <laughs> I do remember floppy disks because we have a computer in there which uses them. <laughs> the computer for the SSL uses 8-inch floppy disks. I did say that correctly, 8-inch floppy disks. So, yeah, so that's the gunshot snare now panned left and right. There's another snare sample. Now, that does have a lot of snare bleed in it. Psh, psh. Did I ever use the 1040 ST? Yeah, of course I did. There's also Joey Kramer's snare from when I worked with Aerosmith in there. Then there's a ring on his snare. And then last but no means least, uh, what is it I've got here? Um, oh yeah, this is another, another snare from Aerosmith. I don't like the way that disappears. It's kind of annoying, isn't it? So let's do, let's see. How long is that? That is, I'm going to do some, have some fun here. That is just over a second. So why don't we get another generic reverb and make it one second. 1.1. Putting some pre-delay on it. Took the pre-delay off. Cool. So let's have a listen now.
Fun, isn't it? So we've got some other fun stuff going into it. There's loads of panning stuff we need to do yet. Um, they're samples I created, though. Ah ha ha ha. Ah ha ha ha. All given to me. I got some claps too. It wasn't talking about Eric. He hasn't got the clap. At least I don't think so. Oh wow. What? Who? Kasha was asking. She was like going, did did Eric was Eric using Tinder while you were in Fort Wayne? And I was like, I have no idea. You'll have to Oh look, he's he's got his phone open. <laughs> <laughs> swipe, swipe. Okay, and now we have a sub bass. Let's throw in the regular bass and see what we got. This is so much fun. I hope you have as much fun doing this as I do. Oh, I hope it does sound like a killer's track. I love the killers. So we have to decide where our low end's coming from. You know, we need we do need something to really kind of fatten it up. Is is the bass line gonna just become melody out of a little low end? You know what I mean? Because we have this other key bass here. What we could do is we could take this key base here and duplicate it. And divide the signal into two. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab a generic EQ. And for me, the generic ones, the ones I've used my whole life are, my whole, <laughs> they haven't been around that long, is uh, of course the REQ. So I'm going to take an REQ at about 200 and now And now I'm going to, with the duplicated one, my REQ, I'm going to take off the, the uh, sans amp and I'm going to do the opposite. So I'm going to turn that off and do this. So let's go all the way down to about 200-ish. There's already more information in there than I need. There we go. So what I like now is I've got the low lows. I think I bought Bob's uh, sample library like 15 or 20 years ago when he made it. Maybe longer. You can buy it. So what I'm thinking of doing, just to really confuse everything, is it's not going to let me do what I want to do, but I'm going to duplicate the sub bass that we've got, put it down onto these channels. Like so. You're probably thinking, what are you doing? Well, I want to I want to use it the same way. So now
See, now it's got that low end in it. I'm on the fence about hearing that hi-hat, you know, pss, pss, going. Maybe in the track it's going to be fine, but it is kind of annoying, isn't it? You know, that's the thing. Okay. Digging that. Okay, this is, I'm having a lot of fun here. So now let's go through all these guitars because they all need to be panned. So there are two voicings. I've got a jung gung jung jung gung jung and I've got a higher one. Okay, yeah, please hit the like button. Um, if you haven't already, please download the multitracks. I think Eric put the link up there again, but he will do now. And this we're gonna do a we're gonna do a question now to win a year's membership to the Produce Like a Pro Academy. If you're already a member, you can um, get an extra year. And if you're a lifetime member, you can pick any Pro Mix Academy course you want. So what do I want to know? Uh, do you play an instrument? It's a yes or no question. If you answer yes, what instrument or instruments do you play? There is no wrong answer. Eric will pick at random and you will win. So do you play an instrument? If it's yes, what instrument do you play? Do you play an instrument? If yes, what instrument do you play? If you don't play an instrument, you can say, no, I don't play an instrument, and that's perfectly okay. If you're a singer, you can say, I'm a singer. Or if you're a producer, you can say you're a producer that doesn't play an instrument. All of which is a right answer, and Eric will pick somebody at random. Okay, um, I'm liking where this is going. This is fun. So thank you once again to for DistroKid for sponsoring this. DistroKid is giving us very generously a 30% off discount. So if you go and click that link down below, you can get 30% off. The reason why we like DistroKid and it is recommended for producers, engineers, mixers, songwriters, and artists, of course, is because you can assign the payments to those involved right at the get-go. So from a producer perspective or a label owner, if you have an independent label, you can pay your artists directly for from every single sale, every single stream. You don't have to get into any of that stuff. You, all that has to happen is the person you're working with has to be on DistroKid. They just create an account and then you can assign them their payments. We love it. It's highly recommended for producers, engineers, and mixers. And of course, artists. Oh, I like the answer, plays the faders. Kind of too loud, kind of like it being so loud. So please smash that like button, as they say. Please, we have 300 people watching. Let's get 300 likes on this. What instrument do you play? And if you do play an instrument, what is it? And if you don't, and you're a producer, as somebody said, they play the faders. Thanks, Sam. This 
see where we came from. Here is the mix. Burn, but I feel so strange when nothing... This is the SSL mix. Burn, but I feel so strange when nothing's going wrong here. This is what we got now. It's definitely got more body, more... We could probably shave a little bit of low lows off the guitars. But it's also kind of nice to have that chung gun chung chung gun chung gun. Also just sounds a little bit more modern and in your face. Burn, but I feel so strange when nothing's going wrong. What's on the master bus? Uh, nothing and nothing. Just an LUFS. Please hit that like button. Thank you very, very much. Please let us know what instrument you play, if any at all. If you don't play an instrument, that's absolutely fine. For a chance to win a year's membership of the Produce Like a Pro Academy. Um, I'm digging this a lot. So I'm just going to pull these tracks down here and here. This is the sub bass that I brought down, so we can make those inactive and hide them because we don't need them to be seen. All right, let's see if we've got the impact we're going for. So what we're going for is some is to play some, you know. It's got the, the me ripping off the, the great Mr. Peter Hook at the beginning. And then um, we'll have a listen and just see if we got these three levels that we wanted to achieve. So now I'm loving this so much. I'm thinking about maybe a little bit more kick in that second section there. Thank you again. Just going to say to DistroKid, um, if you haven't already joined up with them, there is a 30% off link down below, which you can join. Um, okay. I'm thinking... I might just do the opposite. Let's see what it sounds like, because I love the harmony, obviously, that I played there, and I don't want to lose that, but I also... Wouldn't mind a bit of, you know, width. So. So I did the same thing. So I took my DI, um, which is being panned up opposite, like 50 50. Hey, Adam. Oh, don't, you're, I know, at saying, Adam, you rip off Peter Hook. No, Adam's more of a Geddy Lee guy, if I was to guess his bass playing style. Adam, we're going to be... You're going to have a busy time in England when we come over because you... 
You're doing two days with Christian, then going straight into doing four or five, six days with me. Woohoo! It's going to be fun. We're going to do some incredible stuff in England. Thank you. Thank you, Alejandro. I love that. Ha! That's just for the schnitch and sniggles. Um, just click gain that up. Gain that up. Uh, maybe not that much. Let's just volumerize it there. Huh. Well, that's very annoying. Once more. Sorry about that. Be a little bit less, but we're trying to make a... Fun times. Cool, yeah, F, try that. I want to hear your mix. So F is an Academy member. F, yeah, get the multi-tracks. It'll be fun this week to be listening on Friday to what people have done to this track. I stole the reverse symbol from Queen. Play the game. Shh, open up your mind and let your heart decide. And of course, um, Death on Two Legs. Shh, you're tearing me apart. Death on Two Legs was probably the first time I heard it. And then, of course, Play the Game, the reverse symbol. And reverse piano was great as well. <laughs> So there's a... We just need to find those because those are really cool. Okay, so it's in the strings. So we just need a bit more compression on that just to help that come through a little bit more. Let's just squash it a little bit harder. What should we use that's kind of generic? We'll just use the comes free with Pro Tools Lem76. So there's a bit of low mids, a bit of thickness on there, which is kind of nice, but is also stopping it from cutting through. So I'll take off some lows going into compression first, so it's not just the low end that's triggering the compression. So that's the first thing we'll do. We'll just come in and go. <laughs> then let's put a little bit of EQ after. Take that same one and just brighten it a little bit. Sometimes you just got to get in there and pinpoint it. So 
I love that phrase. Let's just do this. Too much? I feel like uh, I feel like a. Uh, I feel like that could be overdubbed with an electric guitar. We're going to open up and put a guitar on it at a later date. So much fun to be had in this, like that. You know, that's a moment where. Don't, don't you want it to be ow, 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 ow? You know what I mean? I mean, do we want that to be... Do we want that to just kind of drop somewhere around? You know what I mean? Should it do that? Just like... A maybe... Maybe we do... Hmm... You know, sometimes it's fun to do things like let's grab an EQ. This is all just making it up as you go, which I love doing. So we could just kind of go wipe off some of the low here. And then the next one, maybe wipe it off about here. And maybe the next one, wipe it off about here. And then... There you go. And maybe that could go. That one can go that way. This one can pan opposite that way. And it could be. Oops. I did a mute, not a pan. Idiot. You're an idiot, Warren. You're an idiot. Okay. I have Irish family. I can do that. Okay, let's ungroup that. Do, 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 do. Wrong one. There we go. Okay, and then just because we can and we got the downbeat, you all know what I'm going to do because it's just silly and I like being silly. So now what we can do is we can go in here and go, <laughs> go reverse. Let me pull that up there. Make this go to here. And we got. <laughs> No. Nope. 
Don't like that at all. Worth trying. I actually don't want to hear this, the third one at all. It's meow, meow. It's there you go. That's all it needed. So those extra two. And again, you can do whatever you like. Get the multi-tracks. Have some fun with it. Mixing should be fun. Let's have some fun with it. strings were done on logic actually um all the, the 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 clever stuff i was using logic um you know there's something about the stock sounds in logic um that really are rather good so quite often to record all the live instruments in pro tools um and then just open up logic and do some midi stuff and then fly it back in that's how a lot of this was done No, but I have to try that. I'm down to try other people's stuff. I love it. Yes, you are definitely allowed to use these multi-tracks in your portfolio. All we ask you do is you name check the band, Little Empire, and of course, that it comes from Produce Like a Pro. And if you could link to the multi-tracks to download from the official place, that would be very, very appreciated. Um, please hit the like button. We're going to do one more giveaway. We're going to listen down one more time. We're going to get to the vocals another day. This has been absolutely amazing. Oh, we love East West Strings. Uh, East West, Brett, Brett saying East West Strings are amazing. So thank you, DistroKid. Now you can go and join 30% off uh, DistroKid. Thank you, DistroKid, for sponsoring this. It's been absolutely amazing. The reason why we recommend DistroKid for producers, engineers, mixers, and artists, etc., is because at the point of you uploading it, you can decide who gets paid what. So it's perfect for label owners for independent producers that put stuff out. All of the stuff that I put out, that's how I assign how people get paid. Highly recommend it. So don't forget, there's a link down below that says distrokid.com VIP slash plap. Do it, and Eric just put it up as well. So join from there, and then whenever you do any collaborations with people, it's amazing. You'll just go, how much do we owe? Say it's 50-50 on the ownership, and you just do it like that. It's really, really cool. Thank you, Thomas. Good job. Um, yeah, so... Really enjoying this. Thank you, Distro Kid. Don't forget to download the multi-tracks. Do one more giveaway, and we're going to listen down. So I asked you if you played an instrument. Um, I think, what do we always do? We've always asked. We've done DAW's favorite plug-in. We did, I think we did favorite band last time, didn't we? I think so, yeah. What have we not done recently? Hmm. Oh, we'll do the old one. What's your DAW? What DAW do you use? And if you don't use the DAW and you record on cassette or... Two inch tape or ADATs or anything, whatever you record on, whether it's whether it's Ableton, whether it's um, FL Studio, Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, Nuendo, it doesn't matter what it is, there's no wrong answer. Kate Walk, let us know. Reaper, of course. Reaper, Reaper, Reaper. So we're gonna listen one more time down from the top. Give it a listen. Don't forget to download the multi-tracks, sign up for Distro Kid, and God bless you all. And oh, and hit the like button. That's a lot of things to remember. Please hit that like button on your way out. <laughs> Hit the like button, thank you.
Who won, Eric? Who won? Punk Floyd. Who? Punk Floyd? Yeah. Punk Floyd. Now, there's a name. Now, there's a name. That was amazing. That was so much fun. I really love mixing this track, so don't forget to download here. Please, there's a link underneath. And if you haven't already, please check out DistroKid. And, of course, you can join us in the Academy. Join us. And as of uh, Friday, we will be listening to any mixes for any Academy members of this one. This would be amazing. So, mixtastic. And uh, we'll open it up and we'll put some vocals on it uh, next week. We'll have fun with vocalization across the nation. And we'll do some detailed stuff and all that kind of stuff. Vocals really shouldn't be too hard on this. There's quite a lot of area and easy to slot it in, to say the least. I think even if I turn it on now. Yeah, thanks to you, I'll never lose my head. Even in the chorus. But I feel so strange when nothing's going wrong here. As you see, easy, easy to mix the vocals in there. But we'll get them more even, we'll get them fuller sounding, we'll put some backgrounds in it. You know, here's the backgrounds here, for instance. But I yeah, should be a no-brainer. Pretty easy to do, but we'll have some fun with the vocals next week. Yeah, please join us in the Academy, yes. And thank you, DistroKid. Thank you, DistroKid. If you're not already a member, you can go and join DistroKid. You can join us in the Academy. Um, and, of course, um, next Friday... Oh, is it this Friday? Oh, I lied. This Friday is Originals. So if you haven't already joined the Academy, join the Academy because you can put your own songs in there and we will mix critique them this Wednesday. Yes. Thanks, everyone. Hit the like button on your way out. Let's get over 300 likes. That would be amazing. 300 people watching, 300 likes. When's my book coming out? In a week. In a week. The book will be coming out in a week. Stay tuned for the book release. 475 pages of recording, mixing, mastering techniques written over three years with my very good friend, the incredible, the amazing Mr. Jerry Hammock. Thanks, everyone. So long. Farewell. Avida, Zay, and au revoir. Adios.